United States. So he's asking for the lowering of barriers. Uh, we are also talking of increasing barriers, particularly in agriculture. Because if there is any sector that our own president and the current administration also wants to protect mm. very seriously, is the agricultural sector. You know, there has been a lot of talk about wheat being grown in the north and all of that. Uh, a lot of talk about the flour millers having to look inwards to buy the wheat that are grown in the north. Uh, the flour millers have complained that there is no domestic capacity to grow the wheat. The wheat growers are saying that they have the capacity to supply the flour millers. So there is a whole lot of conversation around that. But the thing is that it's asking for the lowering of barriers. I don't know what the disposition of the president will be, but perhaps we may have to review some of our trade policies. Yeah, but from the that's... organized private sector perspective, I, I believe maybe the reason the president didn't really comment on that, probably he intends to come back and, um, you know, meet with people and discuss, you know, people like your um, organization and discuss such issues. So what kind of advice would you give the president in this area that is, if we actually have the interest to beef up our trade relations with the U.S. You see, you see, the beauty of trade, because trade is about your capacity to also take advantage of the opportunities that exist on the other side. Now, for a long time, we have had AGOA, mm. African Growth and Opportunities. Has it really, really worked? And the whole essence of AGOA is to open up the American U.S. market. Mm. for Africans, for African countries. Mm. Whereas some smaller economy like Mauritius, uh, maybe Rwanda, and some of them have been taking advantage. Nigeria, as big as we are, we have not been able to take advantage of it. And when you are looking at a market that is worth 20 trillion US dollars. And why do you think And we have so? over 4,000 products. Why do you think we are not able to take advantage of the AGOA? It's about competitiveness. Because even if you have the best of bilateral discussions at the political level, those who will buy the products are the citizens of that country. And they will make their own rational decision as to what they will buy and what they will not buy. And the factor that will determine what they will buy and not buy is how competitive your, your, your products, products are. are. It has to be competitive from the perspective of the cost. It has to be competitive from the perspective of quality. And packaging. Packaging, all those things are important. So if you have the best opportunities and your businesses are not competitive, you, there's no way you can take advantage. So we have to come back to this issue of enabling environment for business. Because when it comes to matters of trade, the biggest issues we often have is this supply side issue. How do you, because that is why if you talk to an average manufacturer industrialist, they are surviving by the grace of the protectionist policies of government. And the in thing in the global economy today is for you to build firms, businesses that are internationally competitive. And as a country, we, also, we should also be able to locate our competitive advantage. Because and no, no, where no do country... you think, I mean, are you saying that in Nigeria we, we don't have any area where we have competitive advantage? No, you see, the weakest area in terms of business in Nigeria is in the area of production. Mm. And basically because of the infrastructure requirements Issues. for production. In other areas, we are not doing badly. In services, in entertainment, in music. <laughs> in creative arts, in fashion designing, yeah. you know, in, in, even in ICT, software programs and all of that, we have the capacity to also make an impact on the world stage in all these areas. But in the area of production, that is where we are talking, when you talk of production, we are talking of agriculture, we are talking of uh, manufacturing, we are talking of solid minerals. We have big issues. First, because of infrastructure problem, which we have been grappling with for a long time, mm. the government is trying to do something, but it's still a far cry from what we need to be able to make the kind of impact that, that, that we are seeing. But in the area of uh, services uh, sector, 
we have we have we have a lot of uh, strength. I mean, if you look at the African continent, for instance, our service sector in the, in the area of financial services, the whole of uh, the West African sub-region, our, our, our banks are virtually dominated. In fact, it's our banks that actually set standards. In the whole of Africa, the, the Nigerian music, Nigerian films are virtually dominated. You know? And we're also doing very well in e-commerce. So in the services area, of course, we can also further develop the capacity. But we have very good strength. And even in oil and gas. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have great opportunities in gas. Look at what NLNG is doing, in spite of all the policy problems that they have. And we could do a lot better if you had the right policies. If you look at even the, the, the refineries, that sector has not been able to grow and blossom because of policy problems. Yeah. Otherwise, we should have been the country supplying virtually the entire African country with petroleum products. Mm. Also, petrochemical products, fertilizer, and things like that. Something similar to what Dangote is, is putting up now in, in the country. Mm. These are things that we should have taken advantage of in terms of competitive strength. These are sectors that provide a lot of opportunities. So for the real sector, for agriculture and all of that, we have to do a lot more, at least to fix infrastructure, so that they can be more competitive. So that they, cannot, they will not only be requesting for survival based on protectionist policies. Because protectionist policies can only go so far. If you formally protect, and informally there is no protection, then you still have an issue. Mm. So that, 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 is, that is the problem. So we have competitive strength in, in some sectors of the economy. Well, let's just hope um, that um, Nigeria will eventually attract uh, more yes, <laughs> investment of course, of course. from the U.S. because of this um, there are opportunities. There are opportunities. And it's a good thing that there was also some very robust discussion around security. Mm. Because without security, you can, you oh, can't can do business. Attract investment. Uh -huh. so that's All good. Right. Thank you very much for your time, uh, Mr. Yusuf. Thank you very much. Well, I've been speaking to Mr. Mida Yusuf, the Director General, Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. After the break, we'll be looking at some of the burning issues in the commodities market space. Do stay with us. <laughs>